What's going on everybody? This is 2020 Bowman Baseball Full Hobby uh, 12 box case break number 2. Pick your team sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com Thanks everybody for getting in. Here's the case. And here is a list of 30 MLB teams. So we got this break, and then the schedule is in the chat now for our 24-hour stream. Pretty much booked up until like four or five or so, I think. So there's the uh, there's the break there. Recap is done at the end of the break, so if you're watching on the recording, you can just skip ahead if you don't want to watch the whole break. No, there's the doesn't uh guy who played Johnny Cochran. Oh, that's true. That's true. Who's that guy? No, it's friends that has no black people. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Like they're they they don't have any. They only have. They're in like New York. I don't like friends though. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I never Between got that into that and friends. that Sammy show. I love that Sammy show. That Sammy show. Is that Sammy show is funny. But they have Fez. It counts. <laughs> Although the uh, one guy is like me too, I think. Yeah, I know the Danny Masters. Yeah, like really bad, oh, yeah. really He's bad, like right to the extreme of yeah. of that. So he was on that new Ashton Kutcher show, okay. which I never really watched. The Ranch. No, I never heard of it. It's on Netflix. Oh. Had like six, five or six seasons, I think, with Ash Ashton Kutcher. I can't believe that. Mila, Mila Kunis was 14 years old. She, she lied that she was 17 or 18. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, damn. <laughs> so we were kissing like an adult? Yeah. <laughs> like Kelsey at a 14-year-old. Like, On crazy. broadcasted TV? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oops. Did she fake it? She had all this fake documentation. When it's like that they didn't check her age. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess in the early 90s. They're just the like, 90s, like, whatever. She's time. hot. She can <laughs> act. <laughs> whatever. Um, Jerry, St uh, yeah, not a box a bit of office football that I can do about it. Jerry Stiller's uh, died too. Oh yeah, that's right. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry's are gone. Jerry Sloan today and Jerry yeah. Stiller a couple days ago, I think. He's got a classic character on King of Queens and Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. I, I always forget that Ben Stiller comes from like Hollywood royalty, like. Yeah, his mom is uh, is famous, really famous too, right? They were like a comedy duo in the 70s. Yeah. Alright, box number uno. The, the computer is using a lot of uh, percentage. So I don't know. Maybe I should shut it down. Orange, number 25, Mason Denneberg. For the Nationals, sorry. Get my camera angle right. That's uh, Jeremy Tillman with the Nationals. Remember, no paper be ship, but all chrome card ship. This is a nice one. Miguel Vargas, number 250, Purple Auto. Very nice. Um, probably not until like Wednesday. Michael. Uh, this one's for the Dodgers. That's Mike Zomich. Um, Topps only sent the distributors, and then they sent us only about like 25 to 50% of the print run because a lot of it got delayed. So we're getting a lot more Wednesday, so I think, I 
think we'll have some then the for, was for Wednesday, wasn't it? Um, Next Wednesday? Yeah. I don't know why they pushed yeah, it up. Yeah, I don't know why they pushed it up. I got rejected by a bull over. Maybe they wanted to battle select. They wanted to or didn't? Wanted to. Yeah, I don't I don't know. But I don't think select would have been... Yeah, I don't not, think... Not huge competition for Bowman. Yeah. Bowman kind of stands alone. There's Joe Adele. There's uh, Sixto Sanchez. You want to hand me a few boxes? Yeah, got you. Have some oranges. Splash some water my what, what did I ask? Oh, I said the computer is using... Is it CPU? Is it usually used that much? It's like a I actually 30. don't pay attention to that. I, like I think it does, yeah. 30%? Yeah. I think it's usually around 15. So I think maybe. I don't know. I probably should shut it down. But I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Alright, Joe's on the top cam there, you can see. Wander Franco. So these refractors are not numbered, but the base refractors will be numbered to four ninety nine. I like shaking the box as if there's one stuck. It cracks me up. That's only like select stuff. Right. <laughs> but it's like clearly an empty box and it's like <laughs> Yeah. You Chang? Like we do that all for one pack of bones. DJ <laughs> Puck. Oh yeah, 18T girl's back. Hi, 18T girl. Yeah, she's back. I think I called that, didn't I? You actually did. You were like, where'd that 18T girl go? I think she just come back from like There's Casey Mize Atomic. Are these one per box, I think, on the hobby? Mark B with the Tigers. I think they're one per box, not numbered. But do ship, of course. Pipeline. Every Chrome card will ship, so you don't have to worry about that. And then the three guys who are shipping are Passone for the A's. Dominguez for the Yankees and uh, Bobby Wood Jr. The three paper card shipping. Um, how many packs are in a box? 24. One per box. Yeah. There's one out of 24 on the. And yeah, Joe just said he he sent break credit from earlier. Yeah, everyone should have it. Some people have two emails, that's why I, and I just send it to one of them. Yeah, like, we get that a lot. So, BRP. Okay. So, you know, pick an email. Yeah, check whatever email you signed up with. And be sure to check all your folders. If you have Gmail, it might go in like promotions or spam. Yeah, Gmail gets aggressive about it. Yeah. Yeah, Darren says his go to the promotions and he always misses them. Yeah, I think you might be able to like whitelist, they call it, I think. Mm -hmm. The email. Um, somehow on Gmail. And it'll all go to the inbox, maybe. And yeah, no problem, Michael. Best way to do it is email us, jobspeakcasebreaks at gmail.com. Um, so we don't forget when we get that second wave of Bowman. Are you Bowman. keyboard on the right side? Right? No, I'm not. Oh, but, okay, yeah. I was... I was like, but I got my sleeves and stuff on this side, I so. Like that, was, that was a new thing. Yeah, that's new. But Jason 
Jason fans through cards different different way than I do. What? Oh, because he's lefty. Yeah, but it's it's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it's different though. Yeah. But every time I watch him, I get like so confused of the way I do it. I'm like, do I go left or right? I don't know. Right. Like I can't remember which way I do it. So then I forget how to. I think I. <laughs> See, you forget. Well, yeah, I hold with my left and I thumb with my. Wait, how are you doing it? Oh, you you advance with your left thumb. So I I hold the pack. Wait, how do I do this? That's what I'm saying. It's. Um, let me grab some base cards. <laughs> Sky blue to 499, Evan White for the Mariners. No, I advance with my left thumb. So do you, you do, do you do like me. Do you also pull with with your with the back side of your hand too? Right hand? Uh, there's Bobby Witt, Chrome and an orange shimmer, CJ Abrams. Ooh. Nice. Number 25. Um I don't know to be honest. Because I use also use an index or like a middle finger to pull the cards as well. Advance pull. EA with the Padres, let me see. The family show. So I go like that. All right, what, what's your where's your discard pile? Right, right here. there, yeah. So when I'm see the back right there, I, yeah, I, I pull. I don't do that. You don't do that. No, I hold it and I only advance with my with my okay. thumb. My thumb is the driver. So these are discards so get, right here. This is how so, I do it. So that's actually that's pretty smart. That's the front way. And then on the back, your you thumb can, does and less I, work. And I'll pull. Yeah, that's I'll smart. pull that way too. Very relatable content. All right, another Dodger. Back-to-back -back Dodger autos. Omar Estevez, number to 499. Mike this is Samich. the kind of content that people want. At uh, 1030. Yeah, this late at night, there's just like, how do you how do you rip open packs so quickly? How do you advance the cards so quickly? We're just teaching other breakers our strategies. That's what we're doing. What's the deal with airplane food? <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> What's the deal with airplane food? That's my Jerry Seinfeld impression. That's pretty good. He was funny in that, uh, in Trevor! the, in the Trevor! last, in the last dance, uh, thing. Yeah. It's funny. He was like, he was like in the locker room cracking like, jokes. Not, not this one. <laughs> yeah. That's not gonna work. Yeah, don't don't do that don't play. Do that play. <laughs> and no one laughed, I don't think. No, I don't think so. He thought he was funny. Yeah. <laughs> he walked away thinking, oh, that was a good joke. Uh, we sort of do, Michael. So when when the store was open, um, when the store was open, like back to the public, we were doing like mystery boxes of paper base and like normal veteran base cards that we donate the money to charity to. And then on a grand opening, we did a ten cent card day, where we just put out a bunch of monster boxes. You can go through them. Every card is ten cents. Um, I was shocked at how many people were there for yeah. hours just flipping through. People cards. were there for hours so, going through. And, they, and we sold a ton too. So I don't know if we'll have the, any type of like event like that this year, but I don't know. Maybe if uh, things get back to normal sooner than expected, they will. But. There's Cannon Smith Atomic. Yeah, I don't play cards really. Arthur says that's because Nick doesn't play cards. Um, do I advance like that because I play cards? Maybe. I don't. I don't know how to play poker or anything. Card card players push and pull like Joe. That Arthur what says saying? that's what AP says. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it's a lot of card playing then. Well, like go fish. What kind of card do you play? You played enough Go Fish. I got a chest cramp, too. It's not good. This is like Michael Jordan food poisoning game. <laughs> is this your flu game? <laughs> yeah. This is Nick's flu game. Talent Pipeline. There's Passin. Puasone. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, I'm rolling with Possin. 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 Like, like he has paws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy is on the Dodgers or what? Who? This Bruce Star Greater is on the Dodgers right now. Why do they have him as a twin? Bo Bones don't have him as a twin. 
mean, they only just printed this two weeks ago. They should have updated it. Yeah. Uh, Maybe they want it Ray too. Rice says it's called Magician Hands too. Magician Hands. I didn't see that, uh, they want their Jared. But yeah, he the the winner did ask for a picture, so I guess he already listed it. Did he list it? Yeah, that's what Jared said. He's listed it for forty k. I wish I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't recommend that to do that to everybody, but yeah, I don't know. Not a fan of that. In like the one percent chance, like UPS loses yeah. the thing or and he yeah, sells it's not it, great. Yeah. But. <clears throat> Oh, our logo's in it? Yeah. I put, oh, our, that's good, I put our sticker that's in good, it. That's good, that's good. That's good. Listed. Darren says, I told you guys to just offer to drop ship it. Oh, no way. That'd be crazy. Then we're held liable for all that. I think we've done that probably when we first started. And, like, we learned. Yeah, Starling not, Castro's a national. Learned never to be a middleman. Yeah, we learned, like, because people sold teams to each other, you know, that are not in the break. That's why we're pretty strict on all that stuff. Got ruined for a few people. Wow, Arthur calls my hands elderly. Wow. Wow. Give me... Couple more boxes. The Chinese, the Chinese it's the Chinese. It's the Chinese. It's the Chinese. Jerry. Oh, it's the Chinese. Jerry. Oh, it's the Chinese. Bobby Witt. This is our first Dominguez paper. And there's our first Dominguez chrome of the break. Megan with the Yankees. Yeah, eBay's not great for sellers, but it makes sense. I mean, they make their money, you know, with uh, more customers bidding on their stuff, making it go higher, making the fees higher for the sellers. So, makes sense. I don't know, that's the problem. Where else would you sell it? That's the problem. Yeah, I guess you could sell it on Facebook or, or something like that, but it's direct, sometimes but hard to uh, find a buyer that. Right. Buyer. So you're, you're saying. Especially ungraded. Right. You have 1,000 people in a group, 5,000 people in a group, as opposed to 5,000 kind of, people. That's kind of the problem with hitting such a big card, is, you know, then it's trying kind to sell of it. Curse, yeah. It's kind of uh, the bad part, but I'm sure a lot of people would accept it. Some people would say, hey, you know, I'm going to sell it for maybe less than what it's worth just to get it out of my hands, get cash or whatever, and sell it in person. No chargebacks or anything. There's Bobby Witt. I would definitely get it graded, though. Even if it grades a 9. Not going to drop the value, really, too much. Uh, number 125, Nate Pearson. Adley. And there is our autograph. It is Brandon Howlett auto for the Boston Red Sox. That's going out to Mark B. Uh, we're just doing curbside now, Michael A. It's curbside pickup only. Our store's closed for the foreseeable future. But... Um, we're here pretty much seven days a week, and for curbside, we're usually here about from uh, 11 a.m. to around like 5 or 6. There's Heliot Ramos Atomic. Yeah, I have no idea on Express Grading. I don't know, the whole thing is weird. If you really think about it. Because they dated for like one season or two, right? I think like multiple. One episode maybe. Oh. Like in season one, I thought. Yeah, it's weird.
What do you mean, Matthew Subblefield? Wonder who the random started started is this in this? What do you mean? Like the sleeper? Yeah, always they're always always a sleeper, right? Yeah, like the card that we wish we had saved from like ten five, years ten years from now. now. Eddie Rosario to number to one fifty. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a good question. I saw that for basketball. Like Chuma Okiki's cards are going way up, so people, you know, love doing that. Kind of try to pick a player. What would the criteria be? You'd have to have like Tyson. a big. The big club has to not have a superstar in front of him, so he doesn't get traded, right? Yeah. Because generally, you want you want the prospect to come up with. But the you also want him on a big market team, you know. So we're big market team, not blocked. Dominguez paper. Atomic Keeper I mean, Ruiz. I feel like Dodgers. Cody Bellinger was like a fifth or sixth round pick. He wasn't on anybody's radar until like double A AA or triple A. Yeah. Pretty much when he got called up, you know. So he must have a Bowman card somewhere, right? Yeah, Cody Bellinger's got a Bowman first auto. 2017 or 2016. But like he wasn't like hot when he was in Bowman first. No, he first, wasn't right? like you know. In like 2013 or whatever. No, was. he wasn't very popular. So I mean. And then there will be a guy who probably people were very high on, but will won't turn out to be you know worth much. It always happens. Like Mark Appel cards. Yeah. Million of other guys. Baseball's, baseball's tough. Yeah, baseball's real tough. Because you, you've got to, you know, sit on them for at least until they get the minor leagues back going. Who knows if that even happened this year? Yeah, I don't know. Gavin Lux. Imagine if they uh, have, uh, whatchamacallit, there's Dominguez Refractor. Um, what if they have minors playing in the majors because of major league? Is there a different union for MLBPA and minors? Hmm, that's a good question. Are they in the MLBPA? I want to say you don't even get like a union card until you're a major leaguer, right? So what if you like, get called down? Then you lose. <laughs> then you no, lose. No, no, no. I think once you're called up then for you're the first signed. time. Because I think you get pension There's as soon as you play Brady the McConnell first game. to two ninety nine. Or maybe it's a forty man roster thing. If you're on the big club forty man roster, you're in the union. Three autos per jumbo box. One in this hobby box version. There's both shit. I forget. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, imagine minors. I feel they... like there is something where, where like if you play like one just Ooh. that's what the MLB players use. Luis is Patino, right? number two fifty. He's got a nice auto. Nice auto for I think that's why the player, MLB players are so strong. People are saying that you can get, like, pension after one game. Basically. Yeah, that makes sense. One major league game. Number 25, Jordan Adams, Joe Adele, and Jemai Jones. Angels. Triple orange for Union, Jared. Good question. So, technically, all the minor leaguers could play, even though there's a MLB PA holdout. But would people watch? You know? Right, because I, I think minor leaguers, while your rights are still owned by the big club, you still sign a minor league deal, right? Yeah. You see that all the time. It's like, oh, you get a signing bonus, this and that, but you sign a minor league deal, and the big league deal is different. Oh, it's not just where we live. It's where we make This Memorial Day and every day, we honor those who do everything to keep our... So, yeah, I mean, it could be like a strike situation where they get, like... Well, well that's how Jordan... Maybe he was going to go to back back to basketball anyway, but they said that they were going to have uh, replacement chance, yeah. players with that, that uh, would, in baseball. Be, that would be him, yeah. I mean, if you're not a big prospect... And Arthur says pensions after 10 games, I 10 think. 10 games, okay. I knew it was really short. Yeah. Cole Calhoun? What about Cole Calhoun? No, that's what Ar Arthur says. I think that's what Cole told me. And he spelled Cole with a K. Oh, and Cole Calhoun is on the what? What do you mean, obviously? 
Well, if, if it's cold with a K, it's obviously going to be cold Calhoun. Well, there's, I'm sure there's another one. No, I don't think there's any other cold. I'm serious. I, I'm not joking. I'm like... Cole Stewart. Uh, that's K-O-H-R. Well, how do you know? I only said K. You didn't see the chat. Oh, I didn't actually. So you could have been talking about Cole Stewart. K-O-L-E. Yeah. No, it, it made sense. Dominguez paper. I didn't know Arthur was buddies with Cole Calhoun. Yeah, that's... Just buddy buddy. Julio Rodriguez. Okay. A lot easier when you not have to talk through them. Yeah. yeah, and talk. <laughs> no, yeah, there you go. Now. We need a uh, a camera like up there, just dropping down from the yeah. ceiling. Blake Snell, number two fifty, purple paper. Ted, Ted. Jaspi, not a fan of Blake Snell now. Why? Well, because he said that thing on his Twitch, that he's not playing for any oh. any cut. So is Teddy pro owner then? Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. So There's I'm a Dominguez. I'm a little in between. I think it's kind of bait, like, you know. Because he said, oh, you know, I think it's more about money for him. Right. That's what I got. But he was kind of blaming it on, like, his, the safety and stuff. Which I think is important, but... It sounded like, you know, because he said the money thing first, and then... Right, right, right. Ooh, that's a nice one. 24-25, Luis Robert for the Chicago White Sox. Ben Young. I mean, what would you... Would you rather have $0 a season, then? Because it yeah. could get canceled. If well, they, if and it's easy for him to say that, because he's he made a lot of money, you know, so far in his career. Or right. a decent amount. What about, yeah, what about, like, the guy who's on league minimum? Yeah. Um, Anthony P, any Jason autos pulled? Yeah, we pulled three so far here um, throughout both of our streams. There's Drew Waters, number 150, two base autos, and then one orange auto, number 25, that Teddy hit on Instagram for a customer. We should have a little Jason Dominguez, Dominguez uh, autograph count right here. Yeah. Joe Genord, number 499. Genord. Refractor Auto. Mets Armando. Travis Swaggerty, Atomic. Pirates, going out to Michael Gallucci. What up? What up? Just hanging out, breaking to Bowman, talking about Blake Snell. Oh. So you're pro owner then, Teddy? Dude, I'm pro making children's dreams come true. That's what he's like, he's taking the children's side. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, children are crying uh, without somebody baseball. Somebody please, this is like the, <laughs> this is like, uh, this is Mrs. Lovejoy of the Simpsons. <laughs> Won't somebody please think of the children? We're going to lose these children to, uh, Basketball. you know, Pokemon and pornography. <laughs> we need, we want It's already too late, Teddy. <laughs> you, you think TikTok. someone's going to get inspired by a Blake Snell star in Tampa Bay? No, we just need baseball. We can just get uh, rid of Tampa Bay. We don't need the double race. Forget it. Just, just baseball. Wow. No, I want baseball too. So, no, I agree fans. with that. But you want, you want to give ownership all the leverage? Have, have billionaire owners cry? Why, why would it give them all the leverage? You can't it just be a one-time thing for the COVID no, year? No, no, yeah, no, it's just no. a one-time thing. Yeah, 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 Joe. But, but then, but then the then they'll be like, oh, this worked out pretty nicely. Let's make it a full-time thing. Once Blake they, Snell, he just sounded like a bait. He could have said they, it better. Uh, collectively bargain again in 2021. We're gonna have a strike. I think. Don't have this I think. It, I think if Blake Snell presented himself better he when said he said it, poorly. it yeah, he, he said, said it super pretty poorly. poorly. Then Ted would be bad understanding. Owners have looked bad since friggin' Charlie Comiskey. They've always been creeps, right? We know yeah. that. Donald Sterling. So but, they're, uh, always, they're always screwing players, right? But billionaire Frankie, owners. Frankie gonna, says, "I feel Blake Snell is channeling his inner Latrell Sprewell. I've got kids." <laughs> to be. Blake, 
Blake Snell is crying poor, or no, billionaire owners are crying poor and not paying their golf players. Basically, right. is what's happening. Right. And they're trying to furlough their like part-time guys. They're screwing all. They're screwing all those guys. The lane's coming up. They'd be like, oh, sorry guys, you know, like these billionaire owners and they're crying poor, please. I mean, there's no one selling vault clubs. There's going to be goofy stuff about just the whole infrastructure. If, they, if, and if, the... if only a sport, professional sports franchise was so terrible, why aren't owners just selling t- teams left and right? They're not, because they know they're going to profit. Right, but that's the so is... pay the players, get the games going, get tests for everybody. Yeah, Teddy. Like billionaire owners, come on, yeah, step Teddy. up, billionaire owners. Guys, I'm too tired for. Uh... You know who the Dodgers are owned by? I'm too tired for debating this. A group that bought the team for two point one billion dollars. You you came into this. I came in to watch watch your cards. Okay, <laughs> I'm done talking about Blake Snell. Nick brought up Blake Snell. Well, I pulled his card. I'm, I'm not on the side of the owner. That's all. Matthew says, "Are we going to call Jeter a creep when it happens?" Well, Teddy's a Red Sox fan, so he probably already has. Yeah, yeah, Jeter's. <laughs> He's already a creep. He's already looked into the eyes of the people and said, "We're gonna feel the competitive." And he, tr- he also and traded uh, Yelich and and uh, Jeff John Conine, Con- John Carlos Hinton, Jeff Conine. He was their manager. Ooh, Gold Ronaldo Hernandez, seven to fifty. Jeff Conine on that? On that? I don't know. Front off? Maybe. I don't know. I think they're. I think both sides need to be pretty flexible. That's all, I think. A little give on each side. Probably, yeah. I don't think that the players should be making their full season salary either. Well, they That's agreed in March they, they, it was going to be like half. Yeah. But now that it's, it's not going to be half, yeah. now their owners are coming back. Well, it's like 50 50 revenue split. Yeah, yeah. and, and now the owners are coming back and saying, oh, Oscar Gonzalez. Because now there's even less games. It'll be 60 Darren games Porter. instead of 82, so like, yeah. or 81, so. Less revenue and stuff. Right, so that's what they're crying about. And now the players are like, okay, so we have to keep making concessions all the time? Yeah, I don't know. I, I saw basketball. Spencer Dinwiddie tweeted out that they're they're back July 15th. See, hoops, they're, those players and their ownership have much better relationships. Yeah. And with it's the a smaller too. team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fewer, fewer people, and I think... It's more of a family, you know. Your roster is only fifteen people. Yeah, and and the head of and no the minors, you know player I mean? union is a player, active player. I don't think that's the case for baseball, right? Yeah, they baseball is player reps, union player reps. But isn't Chris Paul the head of, not the head of, but like, oh, the president of the yeah. associ- of the of the uh, aso- union? Yeah, I think there's got there has to be a player rep that heads the. Players an active an, player? An active player? Oh, that's a good question. You're, you might be right. Maybe that helps the relationship. I don't know. Maybe. They don't want to piss but off. But I don't know. Young, younger players play. are saying that Chris Paul's just protecting the older players. Yeah, that's what someone's told me in the so chat. There's, there's, a little, there's a little banging of heads there, but I think... I don't know. I, I think NBA seems to be on a much better track now. Didn't Woody started a GoFundMe for himself with a... To- oh, yeah, because... Didn't he start a GoFundMe where you could pick the next uh, team he goes to or something? Really? Yeah, something like that. It was like a contest, maybe. But I'm like, how do you know that team's going to want to sign you? Is he... I don't know. Is he done after the season? Like, is... I have no idea. I, I just saw the headline. Brennan Davis, Cubs, Atomic. Football, you know, is going to be back. Football is going to be back. You're not going to miss a beat. Players, players get screwed in football. <laughs> but, like, Roger Goodell's not going to let. Oh, of course not. Roger Goodell doesn't care about CTE. Why would he care about COVID? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care. These, these, and, and the players have their, their crappy contracts. They can just get released, just get their, their like, signing bonus, which is like a pittance. And then they never play again. <laughs> you know what I mean? They like, play, like, isn't the average player, like, three years? It's crazy. Yeah. And then those aren't guaranteed contracts. There's Bobby Witt paper. Those are all shipped. Witt, Passone, and Dominguez paper shipped. Everything else donated. Making pretty good time. 34 minutes here. Probably be about an hour. And the schedule is in the chat now. Click on the link. You'll bring up a screenshot 
Yeah, it's an updated link too. I updated it before. <laughs> and it is updated, Joe says. So we got, uh, I think, a jumbo pack coming up next to fill up four and five. And then we have jumbo oh, random team three. We have one pack break four and then Bowman mixer two. Then it might take a little break. And then 5 a.m. will be maybe one or two more breaks. Number 250, Nick Madrigal. White Sox, Ben Young. Yeah, I'd love to do that select for the last break of the night. Five left in there. Probably do two selects, to be honest. We could do uh, three and four. Or else uh, fill up Chronicles. I'll, something. Bet, I'll bet East Coast East Coast Saturday Breakfast Crowd will do it. Yeah, brunch. At 5 a.m. it'll be 8, 8 a.m. So. Welcome to brunch with Nick Jaspi. Breakfast with Nick Jaspi. What if we did a 24-hour stream every Friday? What's that? We're going to get some burgers and something. What are you going to bring, gonna bring some back? Well, did you want me to go and bring it back? Chris, uh, uh, Christian Robinson of 4 dollars Double, du double, double. Well done, fries. <laughs> did you want some? No, nah, I'm good. No, I'm actually good, too. Maybe I'll just go home and eat carrots with hummus, garlic hummus. Ooh. Get on that Dimebag Daryl uh, thing. Dimebag Daryl, I wish it was. Glenn Daryl. Allen Jr. Dimebag Daryl, yeah, he's Son dead. of Glenn Allen. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. Um, uh, autographed on out to Page. Darren. What's Diamond Dallas? Page? I got DDP yoga. Well, it didn't arrive yet at my house. He's a wrestler. But, uh, you never heard of Diamond Dallas Page? No. I know Cactus Jack. That's, uh, Mick Foley. That's Travis Scott. Anyway, so I, would, I, would, I would do a Cactus Jack workout where I jump off the top of a, a cage, maybe. Who did I say? Maybe, Dimebag Daryl? Maybe he's wrap, the, a, maybe he's wrap barbed Tara. wire around a 2x4. Dimebag Daryl got shot in Buffalo, right? Yeah, he's during a concert, right? Oh, brutal, man. Terrible. Um, band, it was, there was... Uh, Pantera. Pantera. Yeah, Pantera. But he got killed. He was in uh, was some other band. band. Yeah, uh, well, come on, Ted. Die. Something Shark. Great White. No. Cowboys from Hell. Not. I can't think of the name. His band after. Damage Plan. Damage Plan. I'm in such a groove right now. It's like crazy. I could do this for 48 hours. Cut to three hours later, guys. I'm dying. I took a I took a PED. I took an Excedrin. Whoa, that has that has caffeine. like forty milligrams of caffeine in there. I was gonna take one now and then one at three. I'll be up to like seven oh. or eight. I'm gonna I have to post the. And you don't drink coffee, so that Excedrin's gonna hit you. I don't drink co any coffee. I'm right. never drinking it. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna post a fresh batch of Bowman Jumbos once I head off air around six a.m. I think we'll maybe have three or four more new ones, probably at higher prices because the price went up on our end too. Will Wilson, Atomic. And then Wednesday's prices should be about the same. Maybe a little adjustment. I'll try to lower some teams too. Maybe uh, move some breaks quicker. So I usually try to even it out. But yeah, everyone's saying about, this is the kind of theory that I was thinking about, like the box prices are going up and stuff, but also single prices are have been going up with more eyeballs on it. So, you know, maybe your three, five dollar, seven dollar autos are going for, you know, 10, 15, 20 now. So it kind of is an offset. You know, you have to put more money up front, but there's Bobby Witt, top 100. But I think some of, the, some of the purists are just like, well... I yeah, they're used to, to paying. For, they're used to paying this amount, and now you know, it's twenty bucks you know, for a box. Different. Hey, you know we're we've having a pivot too. You know. Yeah. We're used to just having you know the distributors tell us how many, or we tell them how many we want, and we get that amount. Right. You know. Now it's totally different. Yeah, the whole allocating thing is huge now. Yeah, allocation is, and it makes it impossible for any new shops to open, pretty much, too. New breakers to open. It's pretty hard to do uh, any new accounts. There's Evan White, number to 150. Yeah, basketball, well, baseball's gotten hot, Frankie. Trout updates that were like 1,500 a couple months ago are like 3,000 now. Not every player's up, obviously, but... Um, I know, like, the Ken Griffey Jr. Upper Deck Rookie PSA 10 is, like, $1,400 now. It's pretty crazy. 
I think that was only a couple hundred dollar card like last year. So yeah, like established players in baseball have been going up. Basketball, yeah. I mean, about everything basketball's gone up, even if they haven't been playing. There's Dominguez Paper. Dominguez Chrome. Just leave those up. Yeah, I saw that pattern earlier, right? Might be a pattern there. Coming off the printing line. Christian Yelich, number 499. There's Bobby Witt. Yeah, that Project 2020 is crazy. Oh, I thought it was... I saw Yankees backwards. I thought it was Dominguez. Ooh, it is a nice one, though. Anthony Volpe. Uh, 28 out of 100. Volpe. That's Megan. Oh, she got the Yankees again? Yeah. Um, I was posting these late at night one night, and yeah, I think Megan bought them in either two breaks or three breaks. She had them in one, and she got, she got Dominguez Auto. Yeah, and a red auto of Volt. Oh, and she, oh, nice. She hit that too. She hit the red Volt auto too. Um, I think she was the first order for Bowman. The Yankees were the first off the board. Yeah, the trout one that was selling for twenty bucks on their website is oh, now. There she is. Yeah, Bruce and I got a bunch. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're uh they're Dominguez hunting. It's a worthy hunt. It is a uh, worthy hunt. Number four ninety nine, Adley Rushman. A, uh, what are these called? Aquas, number 125, Aaron Ashby. Yeah, I remember I had that uh, trout card, that first trout card in my car. Oh, nice. I'm off camera. Just lounge me. I heard Scrap I had that balls. first uh, tra trout card in my cart, and I didn't buy it because, I don't know, I couldn't find my debit card or something. It was probably late at night. And yeah, it was $20 on their website, and now uh -huh. it's. And it's like on demand, so however many sell, they print that an exact amount. Right, take the right. tops now. They only sold a thousand because it wasn't like a thing. It was the fir very first Project Twenty Twenty. Right. And I think they made like yeah, like twelve hundred or so. And now it's like a thousand dollar carb. Are you serious? You're gonna buy for twenty bucks. Jeez. I think it's the Ermsy trout, right? It's crazy. I was like, damn, should have just bought one. I don't know though. Is that a thing that they're going to be doing a lot? I, I'd imagine it's making them a lot of money. So yes, I think it could be uh, Project Twenty Twenty One. I don't know, or every two years I think maybe. Totally. I, I think once they get this tier of artists, yeah, they'll, they'll go be higher. Another tier, yeah, there'll be another tier of artists, and they'll Amaya. Be and I'll, I'll I'll bet you in in a few. I'll bet they're talking right now to Banksy's people yeah. to try to do a Banksy baseball card. That'd be crazy. And yeah, and that'll be bananas. Like, I don't think Banksy does that kind of stuff though, right? There's probably not, sign. but uh, you know that they're 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 gonna calling. try. Yeah. yeah, they're talking to him. That, probably that get... Ben Baller um, is a big one. He's got like uh, millions of followers on Instagram. I never heard oh, of him. What about like you can get guys like Frank Miller who did like Sin City and stuff mm -hmm. and Three Hundred, like yeah, the comic book guys to do that. They've got yeah, that Joe Jusco. Remember him? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. they'll, they'll get they'll get they'll get guys like that to to do cards too. Curtis says, uh, man, the website's overwhelming, especially when you know nothing about baseball. Yeah, baseball heavy uh, the next couple days for sure. But once we're done with Bowman, usually we don't like reorder a ton. Maybe a couple cases here and there. So, but yeah, this is this might be the biggest release in terms of popularity. This that comes out in 2020 with uh, Jason Dominguez. He's the Yankees prospect. 17 years old. 
And it, it's and it's good to kill all this bowman like in like in now. A few days, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it does get a little boring for viewers if they're like not for us. I mean, if I we like stretch it, it out. Fine, but yeah, like if you stretch it out over a week, yeah, people will just check out because like, oh, Joe's doing another hobby and that like hour and a half hobby piece, you know. Yeah, I think we'll, once. Uh, once that second wave hits Wednesday, and then we're done with that, we'll probably be done by like Friday, next Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Royce Lewis for the Twins, Red Dragon. It's a good time to save money, or else do personals, you know. Save money for uh, Tier One baseball. That's a big one. That comes out July, uh, June third, I think. Next month is NT basketball. That's crazy. There's Bobby Bradley rookie auto. Um, yeah, I don't know, Curtis. A soft entry? There's some teams that are... You can find some $30, $40 teams. Yeah, some, or you can join like a pack filler maybe. Yeah. I think the best value is in those where we give away the Yankees. If you could find a team that's like under $75, you can win the Yankees. We were selling the Yankees for fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. Otherwise, yeah, it's it's tough these days. He wakes up in the morning dead. He doesn't drink or smoke. Oh, okay, shaves, right? You can even find a blaster box or something like that. At a yeah, Walmart or Target. Walmart or Target could be an entry. I don't know. For Bowman, it's like you have to be, you have to be really into baseball. But yeah, I mean, yeah, like exactly. If, if you're not into baseball, this is. To four ninety nine, Miguel Cabrera. Unless you're just trying to flip. Right, and at that level, you're just buying the expensive teams anyway. Right. I'll do it Otherwise, you have to wait too long for these players to mature. Oh, shit. Too. Yeah. Unless one of them gets really hot in spring training or something. It's possibly. easier to convince people to get into basketball breaks. Dominguez? Like expensive hoops breaks. I yeah, because it's not... There's yeah. the uh, the third one that we had a paper Dominguez and then a chrome Dominguez. That seems like a pattern in this case. Matt, Matthew, if you're at one of the lucky, <laughs> one of the, Derek Ewing was in the chat being like, yeah, the other day I just went to my Walmart and there were where they were. <laughs> yeah, I haven't looked at all. And I was just like, man, and everyone in the chat was like, holy crap, you lucky SOV, like, <laughs> how's that possible? We live in, like, obviously a highly populated place, so. Yeah, every Walmart and Target I go to, it's gone. You can't find anything. Yeah, it's nowhere. Per, any basketball, any, even no. collegiate basketball you won't find. There's Bobby mm -hmm. Witt. I'll be lucky to find a, a pack of absolute football. Yeah. And Cabrian hates comic book parts. Derek, he lives in a sort of a less highly populated area. Yeah, if you live in an area where, you know, cars is not, might not be a huge yeah. thing or something. Because all the Targets and Walmarts get about the same stock, I believe. So, like, you know, maybe... A place in Los Angeles gets the same amount as like somewhere in like West Virginia, you know. So. But yeah, if if you find some, you could easily flip it for three, four times the price. Is it same with Canada? Yeah, I don't know about Canada. I'd imagine they do. I've never been to Canada. I want to go to the I wanted to go to the Toronto Expo this year. That's a big card show, but be canceled. I don't know. You couldn't. I couldn't point to where that's on a map. It's not near Toronto. No, I think it's in the middle. Middle. Like if you went to Montana and then drove north, you was probably okay. in Calgary. So it's closer to. It's us closer to us, yeah. So he, I think, is in Central Time Zone. I think he's only a couple hours ahead. Yeah, save for Star Wars, Curtis. We, we told you we'd sell you a cake. <laughs> Instead of buying a retail box at a time, just save them for a cake and we'll give you a better deal. Oh, you're in Mountain Time? So what is that, an hour? Mountain, Mountain time is uh, it's weird time. I don't know. I don't one know. hour. It's just one hour, right? I think so. What's yeah, the time so in North Dakota? So he's even closer then. Oh, no, it's just a man I want to see. Perhaps you could 
We got a gold coming up. Think gold paper though. I really want to hit Superfractor tonight. Get get my. I want yeah for you for you to work at this, this graveyard shift. I need a I graveyard Superfractor. Yeah, just at like at three in the morning, just be like bang. Altuve number to fifty. Everybody wake up. Curtis says he just wants to spend his money. Um, I mean, with a little patience. With a little patience, he'd be able to be like. You like soccer, Curtis? You could buy out a Obsidian Soccer. Luis Robert. If he does, if he does soccer, I'll break, I'll break it on the Nick Cam, in the middle of the break. <laughs> I'm serious. We'll do a dual, a dual video. It's only four cards. Uh, Arise exactly. eight nine, number to one fifty. Jo uh, Joe said he'll attempt the impossible. I'll do it on the top. Evil Knievel. He'll break it for you up there while I break Bowman. Nick can just make that camera the, little, the window a little bit bigger. So That's what we need, man. We need we need two breakers at the same I'll time at this at point. Time. Should, I, should I do a jumbo on this case? On this Blue thing? shimmered to 150. Cole win. Think about it. We'd be done in Wait, hold on. If you did a time. jumbo four on your desk and, uh, and I did jumbo five And it here. should be like a zoom where it, like, it flips your camera when you're talking and then when it's my, when it's my turn to talk, wow. mine goes full screen. Could we, could we do a split screen up there? Yeah. We could. You can just scoot over to the left and just make my top camera bigger. Yeah, it's like one of those Zoom Fill conferences. The of the screen. Wow, that'd be game changer. Yeah. And we stream for four hours instead of twelve or eight or whatever. <laughs> you know, bam, we're done we're in four the hours. Same amount of money we would have yeah. made in eight hours in four because we're doubling up on breaks. There's each Ruben video, Cardenas. Each video title is like Prison Basketball and Bowman. <laughs> that'd be the video titles. Number to one fifty. Nineteen to one fifty. Ruben. Cardenas for the Rays. That's going out to Robert Throne. Yeah, a double break 24 hour stream. Wow. 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 That, that would be. We wouldn't have enough product. But we, would, we would just call it something crazy like 48 hours of breaks in one day. And people would be like, what? How do they How do, do, do that? that? That doesn't yeah. make sense. How would you ever It'd be do like that? a riddle. It'd be like, uh, the two men broke <laughs> 20. Uh, Breaker A. In 24 hours. The monster hit of the night. We didn't even pull. It was Teddy's Ted. pulled the best hit so It was far. Ted on Instagram. Pulled an out of 25 orange Jason Dominguez auto. Which the guy has up. I think Josh. Duran Rogers. Atomic. Nice for the Red Josh Sox. Something has it up on his eBay for 40 grand. We pulled a we pulled an aqua out of 20, 125 Jason Dominguez non auto. Curtis says he drove to Cali with school yeah, sounds, in a day. That sounds crazy. Why does it? How come he never visits us then? Man, you didn't come down for the trade night. Yeah, unbelievable. All right, we're making pretty good time. Fifty-three minutes, two boxes to go. So this will be done in like 10, 15 minutes. We'll clear the the stage, and then we'll do. Two jumbo cases, I believe. Nice, I like that. We call this a stage from now on. Yeah. Clear the stage. Clear the stage. I call it called the break, the desk, the break table. Stage. No, it's a stage. It's a stage. production. Ooh. What would he realistically get for it? Oh, one guy has it up at ten, somewhere in between ten and forty. I would probably. Oh, there's, there's one for ten. Buy it now. That seems like a good deal. Just buy it on air. Just buy it right now, yeah. Um, man, there's in my head, in my head, I was, I was like, oh, that's like fifteen thousand know? dollars. That's what I said, yeah. But I always guess low. I only see that. I only see the, uh, the forty one, but maybe the ten one is up there. I like our sticker on that too. But yeah, we'll have plenty of personal cases, so I mean. Is that how you sent him the picture? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't crop it, so I like. I thought he was just gonna post it on his Instagram. He, had, you know. I like how he didn't crop it. Good yeah. on him. I appreciate that. No, that's cool. Oh, uh, the 10K is non-auto orange first edition Corbett. Oh, okay. Just saying. Stop promoting that dumb show. I'm not even on Game Show Network. They're trying to get me to watch America Says on this channel too. Are you trying to avoid America Says? In yeah, I don't want to watch that. It put me to sleep. That's what it'll do. Hey, 
How you feeling, Ted? I'm no good, man. You've had the the biggest hit in a while so far. Yes. Nolan Gorman and Tommy. Yeah, I, I heard you guys. <laughs> That's how Nick just sent in the picture. And That's the, awesome. That was cool. I, I mean, most guys would probably just like prop it or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> But no, he was nice enough, nice enough to promote it. The, the or, our orange looks really nice with the he's orange. He's in New York, right? He's in New York. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he's in New York. Heads up, you're on that camera up there. Oh, I'm on all kinds of cameras. <laughs> All kinds of angles showing all kinds of problems. You're on sta- you're on stage right now. Uh, you're, on, you're on stage. I just don't want you to do anything goofy. You yeah. Know? When you're on when you're on set, Teddy, you Ooh, gotta. What would you imagine me doing? I don't know. I don't know, flashing or something. I don't know. Just... Nick, I'm somebody's dad, okay? And also, I, I was I was born overseas. Show a little respect, you know. English wasn't my first language. Be respectful to me. Sorry. I didn't know where we're going there. Yeah, I was born in Greece. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that either. I was born in Texas. Yeah. I'm the first generation. You're the first person born in the states. I thought. I thought. Yeah. I thought you had maybe. Actually, my mom was born in New York. My dad is Just straight up broken. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Matt Manning. It says right here, 412 viewed per hour. People, that's a lot. Dude, chill oh, with the ca- cart there. Oh, watch oh. with the cart. There's cards on there, and it has to be on camera. Oh, sorry. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Guys, I'm, I'm going to leave it. Come on. Get, <laughs> I'm out of here. Get off my <laughs> set. Here, get off my set. Maybe I'll come in tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> uh, no, no, save that for my brother. Oh, no. <laughs> Alvaro Sejas. Did you hear the news? Yeah. You're yeah, he needs it for that. And I texted him today. And I was like, hey, he's, I'll help. He was like, yeah, we're definitely. All right, see you, Ted. Hi, Teddy. Good work. Thank you. Don't forget your chapstick. Jackie, are you still here? Wow, Jackie's grinding. Bobby Wood Jr. paper. Brian, to make sure that mosaic hoops gets out. Nice. Um, what the McDavid '97 Curtis out of '99? It's still on eBay. Oh, uh, or it's still on Leland's. Go, I mean. If you go to my notepad, Nick. You can copy and paste the Leland's link. If you scroll down, you'll see it. That'll send. Oh, our 50 auto book is on there too. On is on Leland's. All right, last box. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Yeah, those are the two links. Link to the Twitter and the link to the actual page. Curtis and everybody. So if you go to that Leland's link, you'll see the McDavid we pulled. If you search McDavid, and you just search, like, Home Run Kings or something like that, it's the one of 150 auto book we pulled, too. I think it's at, like, four or five grand right now. And it's, like, a month left. There's, like, 27, 26 days left. They also have a... Crazy Babe Ruth Transcendent Cut Auto on there that with a wild. bat knob attached. I kind of want to bid on that for a repack. Imagine that in a repack. It'd be sick, yeah. huh? High end, high end repack to Kid Express. Yeah. Full disclosure, we're friends with Leland's. So. Yeah, I mean, we don't get any cut of the deal or anything. Yeah, we don't get any cut of the deal, but we we are we do know. But yeah, my dad is technically a co-founder, I think. That's but right. yeah, he, he, is, right? he doesn't get paid by it or anything. But uh, we we uh, referred we, it. We refer, yeah. Yeah. So they didn't just magically find Leland. And, yeah. But yeah, I think they're trying to get into more card auctions now. So. So it's a good. Yeah, first that's one. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you uh, if you pull a card that's like going to be over ten thousand dollars. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could and, auction you know, it with yeah, Leland. You could, it might uh, take you know a long time. So. Because I don't know how often they do those auctions. Right. Next one might be for the this winter. Or seam season, right? Yeah. Quarterly. Yeah, and it takes a while for them to... They usually want to get it graded if it's like the McDavid or right, something right, like right. that. Yeah, so, so Estimate it. It's a full service sort of process, so it kind of takes the selling out of your hands. It'll take a decent cut, but... Cardenas to four ninety nine. But you may, maybe, may get assured a sort of higher... They, they do a lot of marketing for it. Let's put it that way. Dane Dunning to 250. Curtis says, "Can you imagine? Well, did you see Curtis? There's a Mike Trout card that sold for nine hundred thousand uh, dollars a couple Curtis. days ago. 
I can. Someday Jaspies will get there. We'll have that kind of money. And there's Steven Paolani. Orange Auto, number 25 for the Braves. Paolini. Our first Orange Auto of the case. And it's our last Auto of the case. That is for Mark. So, once I'm done with this box, what I'm going to do is pause the video, get all the hits ready for the recap, get the randomizer set up so we can just roll right into the giveaway. Uh, top four win 50 bucks. Just a FYI, the pick your team three, it'll be 150 as the photo shows. But I messed up description, so I'll fix those at some point tonight. If that changes your mind on your team, then you can email us. I don't think it should, though. I had yeah, it in the photo. It either, I had it in the photo, Hunter. But you know that someone's Brennan gonna, Davis Atomic. So, someone's going to email Whoever's on number like, four. Well, yeah. Well, it's randomized four. Well, you say people don't read the description, so maybe maybe they didn't read it. Yeah, but when it comes to that, they'll definitely do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I said 200. thought nobody read that in descriptions. Um, we're streaming till 6 a.m., so whatever 11 to 6 is. Seven hours? Seven hours. We've been streaming 17 hours, so yeah, seven hours. Yeah. Christian Pache. Yeah, and this is only this is only Nick's first break of his shift, so. Yeah, this like, is my first break, so I got like four others to do. Maybe a little uh, midnight snack. Hunter Dozier still a prospect. That's crazy. Bobby Whitcomb. There's still a Brendan Rogers like. Yeah, I don't get Bowman, him Bowman either. But I, I, I think I some say guys that, are just but I think there. Brendan Rogers was like injured all last season. Yeah. So I think he was supposed to be up last He's supposed year. to be a rookie this year. Yeah. And then God I think his season was cut short and then he's making his way back again. So there you go. Thanks everybody. Uh pause the video for a recap coming up. What's going on everybody? This is the recap uh portion of the video. Same recording. So ho hopefully everyone new to fast forward here. I'm just going to recap the autographs and the color real quick. Just There's a Paolini to 25 orange auto. Cardenas 150. Volt to 100. Gold to 50 Hernandez. Janor to 499. Luis Robert to 25. Patino to 250. Brendan Howlett, base auto. There's some more here. All these will be top loaded. Dominguez, McConnell. So, pretty solid case. There's some. Dominguez, Vargas at 250, Denneberg to 25, and then here's some more of the uh, the inserts and numbered cards and stuff. Some of the top three prospects: Pasone, Dominguez, and Witt. All their paper ships. So there you go. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Uh, that Pache was number 152. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Uh, now it's time for the giveaway, so let me set up the randomizer here. I say Christian Pache. I say Pache. Maybe Pache. I don't know. I've Until they make the majors, I won't get their name right. Like, do something to earn my, uh, my name pronunciation. Okay, so this is this break right here. You're going to buy two or more teams. Let's alphabetize it by your first name. So Ben got a spot. He bought two. Chad got a spot. Darren Redding. Eric. Jens. Got two. Jeremy got three. That gets you one spot. Mark. You're going to buy in multiples of two, remember? Mark, Megan. Mike Samich got three. That only gets you one. Red Dragon in there. That looks like it. No red in that case. No red. 
Yeah, the Robert is a paper as well, not an orange chrome. It's an orange paper. Nine times. Name on top? Uh, sorry. Top four names get $50. Top four names, $50. Seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Top four, Chad, Mark, EA, and Ben. There you go, Ben. Stayed up. Uh, wanted to win that break credit. There you go. I'll be sending these out right now. Check all of your emails that you've signed up with in the past. Um, I just sent it to the first email that pops up. You know, I don't know which one you prefer. So be sure to check it all. And check all your folders. Check your spam before um, writing to us. But I'm about to send them now. So they will be sent. So thanks, everybody. Congrats. Lonely dude. Oh, that's a